I'm from here. And my shoulders are back a little bit. I don't want to be like this. I need to be here. But we have to be able to load it up a little bit by pushing our butt back, but we're still engaging our core. So we're not doing this without engaging the core because engaging the core is gonna help level out that pelvic tilt a little bit. So if I do this. You can grab one each. I was kind of giving this. So grab one, just set it go over a couple things. So what I like to do is at least like doing overhead passes. Like, so for a lot of us who are already basically like hard to have pretty good mobility, just like going over it. Now I wanna make sure I'm pushing away, right? So I'm pushing, I'm like protracting. I'm pushing away from my body and pushing away to the back, right? So I'm not like, and we're not trying to spend most so much time trying to pull this thing apart. More so just having this at a place where our hands are in a position where we're not overly stretching our chest. So I don't wanna go over here. I feel like my chest is gonna rip out. Right, so I want it to be out enough where I can pass over through my back with my shoulders still, like my arms locked out and keeping them apart, right? So think about pulling them apart and pushing them away from your body and down, pushing them away and back over. Good, now push away to your back and all the way, all the way, good. Keep going. There you go, try, there you go, breathe. Good, is that really tight? Yeah. So loosen this up. So oh, grab this it here. Is, this is no. Oh, that's your, that's you. That's me. Ah, oh, yeah. damn. Okay, yeah. good. Good. I'm gonna give yourself some room. So again, I, again, I don't want to, I don't want to focus this, this part on pulling it apart. We will focus on that part when we're doing scap attraction. But with this, I want you to just push your, like I'm pushing my body, my arms away from my body, up, taking a breath in, and coming back the other way around. Deep breath in, so we can, and open up. Right, and you should feel your shoulders getting warm, but at the same time, you should feel them getting looser as well too. Right, so the first couple passes might feel really tight and restricted. The other ones might start to feel pretty like, you know, start getting loose. Good, push over, good. Make sure we don't end bend at all on the elbows. I don't want any bending. I want any flexion or extension in the elbows. I want them locked right out as if we are doing Overhead squat in a sense, right? Good. We're show opener, so we're gonna take that same band in that in that hack in that position, and we're gonna pull down and pull back up. We're gonna keep it behind our head and pull it down and pull it up. Good. Now I just want to do that like about like you know, pass through about five times. Try and go from here. So all I want is like so I want you to think again. I want to focus on stretching it apart. Also, I want to keep this where your arms are apart, and I want to basically go from the front. So all the way to the front of my body here. Not all the way down, so pushing all the way. Right. There you go. And keep your arms this way, straight. And then push your arms away from your body, right? So push them away and over. Up, breathe in, and then push over the back. There you go, yeah. And then come back over the front. So this is gonna loosen up that chest. So you guys should probably feel your chest pretty loose. Cool. Now hip stuff. Simple the hip stuff we can do. Like, I'm not that flexible, necessarily my hip. So just up, all right? And we can go from here and then switch it on over, all right? And just try it over and just, and lay it flat, all right? And you can adjust that depending on your flexibility. You can come a little further. The closer in, obviously, the more flexible you are. We're gonna open up and here, right? Open up. Keep yourself up straight. And just stretch, you can keep your hands back this way and pull over like that. Yeah, right? So try to stay in that, so try to stay up and try to just switch your, rot your rotation by just getting, coming to here and then here. Open up and here. All right, we're moving a bit. Good, really good. Good, just something, and once you get super good, you can literally kind of do us getting up, but we're not gonna get there yet, right? So a couple of things I like doing before I start, and then obviously we can do like, you're basically just like ragdoll stuff, but I wanna do a couple of the top. So we'll do ragdoll after, but if we're doing any kind of loading, now we've done a couple, a couple times we've done, we've probably done hip swings, right? Now those are good, but you're never really gonna be doing this. You're not, you're, you're, we're trying to like warm our hip up. 
But when we're doing that, we're gonna be in a load. So we wanna load this thing up. So if you can grab a side or whatever, what we wanna do is we're gonna get in that position where we're here, right? And I'm gonna push my body through. So from here, I'm gonna push this back and I'm gonna, I'm basically from here and I'm hinging. So pushing into here and then I'm opening myself up and then down and then through. Now, if you don't have the balance, we can definitely hold on to the side here like this. What I wanna do is, I wanna get this load, I wanna load up here and load on my hip, pushing straight back through. So this like, so you can see what this one's doing, I'm basically hinging into this glute. So I'm not just kind of like bending over like this. So I'm hinging, pushing into that heel, gripping with my toes still, and then I'm opening that hip up and pushing down and coming back through. Pushing through in your hip, open up the hip, stack the joint, I'll come down and up and I'll go along with you guys. So you guys can grab the wall if you want or whatever is here if you want to grab that, doesn't matter. Yeah, so stay, keep, try to keep yourself up straight. Now push your, push and everything's gonna bend. You're gonna hinge into that glute. So feel that glute. So we're gonna work on this back staying straight. So we want you to work on your pelvis still. So. Your, your anterior pelvic tilt, right? So I want this to hit the hip to do this. Like you're twerking. Push and feel it. Yeah, there you go. Open up. But keep that, keep that toe dorsal flex too. I don't want it to, I don't want your toes pointed down. I want dorsal flexion. So I want your toe to be pointed up. Open up. Yeah, good. Good. Switch sides. Open up. Good. Load right now. I want you, you guys, the leg that's being loaded, I want you to feel your glute literally like should be tight. Right? It shouldn't be loose. Good. Load it right. Get, get up. Come back in. Just push right back in the heel. There you go. Open that up. Feel it. Open right up. There you go. Good. Tighten the back. Good. Okay. So we're going to chill for a minute. I want you to, we're going to work on, because what you have is like, again, for you, you're at work a lot. Right? So your biggest thing for you is going to learn how to keep yourself in this like position to where you're here, right? Shoulders roll back and down. And then your, your, your anterior pelvic tilting. So your, your hips are gonna go like this, but you're gonna engage your core. So we're not just sitting like this. And then when you do, once you're going back, we can, once we're hinging, we don't have your back doing this, all right? All right, keep my shoulder blade back. Yeah, so try, try with just, just your feet. Just like two feet, two feet. I wanna see you hinge. Just hinge forward? Yeah, yeah, just hinge. Almost, so see your back's rolling right? You're tight, are you super tight? As soon as you do that? I would say yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So a couple of things, um, guys, come around here real quick. You should be able to, when we're doing, um, when we're hinging, your back should, this is what your back looks like in a good position. My core is engaged, I'm hinged, my head's flat, my chin's a tiny bit ch uh, tucked, right? And from here and my shoulders are back a little bit. I don't want to be like this. I need to be here, right? And that's where, we are, that's where we're looking like a healthier spine, right? So we'll kind of do a little bit for each other, kind of like get it right away. Like, so get, so get into that position. So hinge, right now finish the hinge. So head back, there you go, right? You should feel every point touching. Your head, there you go. And you're flat here, tight core from here. Right? That's how you should feel from there. So say you're doing a row, do a row. Right? That's how your body should stay in that position. Right? You should be able to do this without this thing falling off. Right? Same thing for you, come on. So if we're gonna hinge, go into hinge, hinge position. There you go. So this is very good, flat right through. So while we're here to make sure we're protected, make sure we're engaging that core. Because we don't, what's gonna happen is that you yells me. Your back, your lower back's gonna start seizing up, right? So we're in that position. Go ahead and get you. Same thing. So you get up. Come with you. So when we hinge, right? So see, we can see a little rolling here. So let your arms hang. There you go. Now retract your scaps a little bit. Not too much. Don't pull here. Pull down here. There you go. Head down flat. Right now. See now where we're we, we missing here. Pop that butt a little bit. Torque. There you go. That is a flat back, right? 
kite core, right? Now we're engaged from here. Now toes, get the toes in the floor, right? That's how we should look when we're in a hinged position, no matter what, right? So what, we are, what we're gonna have issues with will be some of our interior pelvic tilt, our tight hips. I don't want you to necessarily sit like this, but we have to be able to load it up a little bit by pushing our butt back, but we're still engaging our core. So we're not doing this without engaging the core because engaging the core is gonna help level out that pelvic tilt a little bit. So if I do this, it's gonna pull my butt in a little bit. So when I'm down here, I'm not doing this. The difference between doing this and this. I'm actively in position here. Here I'm kind of just resting on my glutes and I got like a big fat butt and I got a lower back issue, right? So when we're doing deads and stuff like that, which we will go over that today, it's imperative that we know how to hinge. Because if we can't hinge, we're gonna hurt our back trying to load, okay? Um, so that's little things like that we're doing at like the beginning of like working out. You can do a lot more. Obviously with my coaching, that's, I send some stuff off like that anyway. I got a mobility book coming out, so that comes out, it'll be really dope.